So what do you mean by adaptability, you know, adapting? The first thing is that you need to be brilliant at your basics because whatever happens, if your basics are strong, then you can build on it. You know, you can think on your feet, that you can implement elements of design thinking and be proactive. And, and uh, if you know that the Chinese character for crisis and opportunity is the same, which means that in every crisis, there is an opportunity, but you have to look for it. So uh, Center for Creative Leadership in North America came out with three kinds of flexibilities that one should possess in order to fight this uncertainty. So what are these three kinds of flexibilities? The first flexibility that a leader or a person, an individual should possess is that he or she should have cognitive flexibility. He or she should be able to have different mental frameworks. He or she should be able to find out the, the different kind of things that can be done in the present scenario and be able to choose one be able to milk an opportunity in the crisis. So that is uh, cognitive flexibility. The second kind of flexibility that one uh, needs to have is an emotional flexibility. And this is very, very applicable to leaders, decision makers in a family. This should be very, this is applicable to the head of the family and other members because you need to understand that unlike you, another person may not be able to deal with change as smoothly as you. So you should have the empathy to understand that people would be finding it difficult to go through this difficult situation and empathize with them and be with them to accept this change. And then we have the third kind of flexibility, which I think is the most beautiful kind of flexibility, which is called uh, dispositional uh, flexibility. And which says that you have to be positive but be realistic also at the same time. You cannot say that, okay, everything uh, will only happen for good and good will only happen. Yes, good will only happen, but you cannot be in an utopian world to believe in that and not act upon it. You have to base your uh, sensibilities on grounded reality. So your optimism must be based on reality. You have to be current. You have to move on uh, to the... Uh, you know, the, uh, whatever the current scenario demands, you have to move on only then can you be adaptable. And uh, there are, so, so are all positive people adaptable? Uh, not really. Adaptability requires another sort of, uh, you know, another sort of attitude altogether. Uh, so I would urge all of you to have that little bit of flexibility in you to accept that changes do happen. And let us look at crises uh, as an opportunity to do something. I'm sure COVID must have created umpteen number of opportunities for you. If otherwise, if the life was normal, I don't think I've seen people painting things. I've seen people cooking different dishes. I've seen kids uh, making, you know, all these art and craft item people who haven't danced or sang in a lot of years doing all that. So it has created an opportunity. So let us look at that opportunity and be happy about it. So this is not like I told you in the beginning, this is not applicable to the present scenario. This is applicable to our lives. Changes keep on happening. You are a survivor, you are a fighter, you are a winner. Only if you can adapt yourself to those changes and come out of it beautifully, come out of it successfully.